गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स दैट इज अवर सेशन नंबर फाइव ऑन वोकेबुलरी वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन द वर्ड स्टार्टिंग विद बी इन दिस सेशन आई हैव टेकन ऑल द वर्ड्स दैट स्टार्टिंग विद द बी फॉर मोर वीडियोस यू मे लॉग इन टू माई वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू फेसबुक पेज दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स फॉर टॉकिंग टू मी यू मे कॉन्टेक्ट मी एट माई नंबर जीरो नाइन टू वन डबल फाइव वन डबल फोर थ्री फाइव माई ईमेल आई Uh, for regular updates on my videos, you may subscribe my YouTube channel at the rate Dinesh Miglani. I expect from you to share my videos on your Facebook wall as well as with your friends, so that they will also be benefited by this. Let us start with the first uh, word of this session: state of being unmarried. Right? We know that one who is unmarried, he is called as bachelor. Right? So here, the state of being unmarried is said to be bachelorhood. So answer to one question is said to be C. Right? Let's have the words here. The first word that we have that is said to be babble, right? The first word that we have uh, th is that word is said to be babble. So babble is something to chatter idly, right? That is to chatter idly, right? Some time you find uh, some persons are there, जो काफी बोलते रहते हैं, बैठे-बैठे बोलते रहते हैं, बहुत ज़्यादा बोलते हैं, right? So those persons are said to be babble, right? So that is uh, to chatter idly without any cause. They just speak, speak and speak. So that is taken as babble, right? Uh, next word that we have that is uh, bacchanalian, bacchanalian, right? It's basically drunken stage. That is basically drunken stage, right? Next one is badger, b a d g e r. The badger is basically to annoy someone. It's basically to annoy someone, right? so what we can say that state of being unmarried is uh, bachelorhood right so babel is uh, to speak idly right to chatter idly it's like a chatterbox and badger is basically to annoy annoy means kisi ki uh, kisi ko tang karna right that is annoy next one is a story in verse when we talk about this word a story in verse that is said to be ballad b a w l a d right that is a story in verse aisi kahani jisko hum chando mein gaate hain right So that is said to be ballad b a w l a d right uh, let's have a few more words the first one is said to be badinage badinage is basically teasing conversation right it's a conversation but that is a teasing conversation kisi ko tang karne wali conversation so that is basically named as badinage that is teasing conversation right that is badinage uh, then we have baffle baffle means to frustrate someone Baffle means uh, to frustrate someone, right? Or you may call it as perplex. P e r p l e x. That is uh, the meaning of the word babble. Bait. Bait is to tease or harass. Bait is to tease or harass, right? Or you may call it as bait is something. जैसे uh, for example, uh, चूहे को पिंजरे में पकड़ने के लिए हम पिंजरे में रोटी का टुकड़ा लगाते हैं, right? So that is said to be bait, right? So that is also called as a bait. B a it right so here a story in verse that is said to be ballad b a d l l a d and badinage is something a teasing conversation right and baffle is to frustrate someone uh, right or to perplex next one is signs dealing with motion and projectile like rockets bombs and shells that is ballistics that is basically uh, ballistics right you, you you know about that a b m that is anti ballistic missiles right so that is basically uh, ballistics the science dealing with a motion projectile like rockets bombs and shells right uh, let's have the words here the first one is uh, bami b a l m y right uh, b a l m y the meaning of this word is said to be mild right or we can call it as a fragrant bami means mild right or it may be called as fragrant f r a g R A N T right then we have bark B A L K right so bark is some there to stop short right the chief of the police barked at sending his officer into the right turn area right to so basically to stop to stop shortly to stop short so that is said to be bark B A L K right and ballast B A W -L, L A S T that is heavy substance used to add stability or weight right it it's basically a heavy substance it is basically a heavy substance that is used heavy substance 
that is used is a heavy substance that is used to add stability to add uh, stability s t a b l i t y stability that is basically said to be ballast b a w l a s t right so science dealing with the motion of projectile like record or uh, like rockets bombs and shells that is said to be ballistics next one is one who cannot pay his debt that is bankrupt right or we can call it as insolvent insolvent right so who, person who is not able to pay his debts right uh, what is banal b a n a l right to so banal is something uh, that's a trite right jisko hum kehte hain ghisa pita it is sort of a trite ghisa pita argument trite right? or you may call it as uh, hackneyed h a c k n e y e d राइट तो दैट इज बेसिकली ट्राइट और बैनल राइट दैट इज सेट टू बी घिसा पिटा आर्ग्यूमेंट या किसी बात जो काफी टाइम से बार बार उसी बात को रिपीट किया जाए राइट दैट इज सेट टू बी दैट इज सेट टू बी द बैनल राइट बैंडी बी ए एन डी वाई तो बैंडी इज समथिंग टू डिस्कस लाइटली और ग्लिबली तो बेसिकली दैट इट टॉक्स अबाउट टू डिस्कस समथिंग लाइटली राइट दैट इज सेट टू बी बैंडी नेक्स्ट वी हैव बेन बेन मीन्स कर्स बेन मीन्स कर्स शार्प किस चीज को कह देते हैं ना ये चीज शापित है राइट इट्स ए कर्स राइट तो वी कैन से दैट इग्नोरेंस इज कर्स राइट तो दैट इज बेन बी ए एन ई दैट इज अपोजिट टू द वर्ड बून इट इज अपोजिट टू द वर्ड बून बिकॉज बून मीन्स जो किसी चीज के लिए काफी हेल्पफुल है राइट right? अच्छा शुगन कह सकते हैं तो बेन इज सोर्ट ऑफ ए कर्स राइट तो हेयर वन यू कैनोट पे इज द डाइट दैट पर्सन इज नेम डेज बैंक और इनसॉल्वेंट फियर ऑफ डेप fear of depth is bathophobia that is said to be uh, bathophobia right a baneful baneful means causing death or very destructive a uh, baneful means uh, that may be called as very destructive right or causing death next we have bantering b a n t e r i n g bantering means good natured bantering means good natured right barb b a r b it is a sharp projection from fish hook or other object opening cutting remark right basically it's a sharp projection barb it's basically a sharp projection right so a fear of death is basically said to be bathophobia cut the head off right cut the head off so that is uh, basically named as b head बीहेड मीन्स सिर काट देना राइट टू कट दैड ऑफ मीन्स किसी का सिर काट देना तो दैट इज बेसिकली सेट टू बी बी हेड राइट द फर्स्ट वर्ड इज बार्ड बार्ड इज ए पोइट इट्स 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 सॉर्ट ऑफ ए नाउन दैट वर्ड इज यूज फॉर ए पोइट राइट वी कॉल इट एज बार्ड होमर बेसिकली वेन वी टू अवर होमर होमर वॉज एन एंशियंट पोइट राइट तो वेन वी कॉल इट बार्ड होमर इट मीन्स पोइम अ पोइट होमर राइट नेक्स्ट वन इज बैरोक B A R O Q U E that is highly ornate, highly ornate काफी ज्यादा सजा हुआ highly ornate जिस पे काफी ज्यादा आभूषण डाल रखे हो काफी ज्यादा चमका चमका हो that is said to be baroque right bare faced uh, bare faced is shameless bare faced is called as a shameless right so that is said to be bare faced okay तो कर द हेड ऑफ इज नेम्ड एज बी हेड A person who is fond of fighting. A person who is fond of fighting. That person is named as bellicose. B e w l i c o s e. One is fond of fighting. That person is named as bellicose. Right. Uh, barrage. Barrage is a barrier laid down for artillery fire. Right. So barrage is basically a barrier laid down. It's basically a barrier sort of. Right. Uh, a barter. B a r t e r e r. basically we you basically you you know the barter system uh barter system barter system is good for goods right so one who uh, deals in the barter system that is said to be barter or we can say that is a trader okay barrister right when we talk about the barrister barrister is advocate or counselor barrister is basically advocate right or he may be called as counselor right 
नेक्स्ट वन इज ए पर्सन नेशन दैट इज इन्वॉल्व इन द वार ए पर्सन और ए नेशन दैट इज इन्वॉल्व इन द वार तो दैट इज सेट टू बी बेलीग्रेंट बी ई डब्ल एल आई जी ई आर ई एन टी दैट इज सेट टू बी बेलीग्रेंट राइट बास्क बास्क इज समिंग टू टेक प्लेजर इन वार्म राइट तो जनरली वी टॉक अबाउट द सन लाइट दैट इज ऑल्सो वेन यू सिट इन द सन लाइट जब आप सूर्य की धूप लेते हैं That is also, that is uh, that event is said to be basking, right? So bask is something to take pleasure in wealth, take pleasure in wealth, right? So generally uh, to take pleasure in warmth. So generally, Suraj ki dhup mein baithe ho kya kehte hain? Basking kehte hain, right? That is also bask, right? Next one is bubble, b a u b l e, right? It's it, it's uh, trifle, t r i f l e. right means on very small incident that is said to be a trifling body b a w d y it's obscene o b s c e n e obscene right or we can call it as indecent so generally that is used for indecent remarks right so that we can call it as a body remarks right so a person or nation that is involved in war so that is basically said to be belligerent right bask is to take pleasure in the warmth nations engaged in war right so that is said to be belligerents nation engaged in war so they are basically called as belligerents right passion uh, b a s t i o n right so uh, that is basically called as something seen as a source of protection right so passion is something uh, something which is seen as a source of protection which is seen as a source of protection right so that is basically named as passion okay body b a w d y that we earlier seen that is indecent right beatific it means showing joy right or we can make call it as blissful blissful right or you may call it as showing joy That is said to be beatific, right? Uh, wishing good things for another, wishing good things for another, right? Or we may call it as a person uh, who is very careful for another. That is said to be benevolent. Uh, जिसको हम हिंदी में क्या कहते हैं उधार, right? A person who wishes good things for another, that person is said to be benevolent, right? Uh, beatitude, B E A T I T U D E, right? So that is state of bliss. But all these words that basically deals with state of joyness or state of bliss, right? So here we can say that the bliss means b uh, that state of bliss b l i w s. So that is state of joy, right? Next word is a uh, beatify b e a t i f y, right? It means to bless, right? Uh, next word is badizen b e d i z e n. So that is addressed with vulgar finery. the which doctors was bedizened in the gaudiest costumes so that is a uh, vulgar dress or we can call it as to dress with vulgar clothes so that is basically said to be bedizen right kai var kafi bhadkau kapde jo dale hote hain so they are basically named as bedizen right to so wishing good things for another that is said to be benevolent okay and that uh, beatify uh, beatitude All these words somewhere deals with the bliss or joy. Next one is to surround with armed forces. That is be siege. To surround with armed forces that is said to be be siege. So sometimes we say that the Reuters are be siege by army. It means now they are surrounded by army, right? To surround with armed forces is basically named as be siege. Okay. Few more words are there. Bad. Uh, it is said to be be dragal. be dragal is wet thoroughly that is basically wet thoroughly complete wet okay uh, b line b line is direct b line is basically said to be direct route that is said to be b line okay b fuddle b e f u d d l e that is confused thoroughly when we talk about the b fuddle that is basically said to be confused thoroughly confused thoroughly to be confused thoroughly confused thoroughly that is basically said to be confused thoroughly confused thoroughly t h o r o u G H L Y, that is basically named as the beef fatal, right? So what we can say that to surround with armed forces, 
right so that is said to be bc okay so uh, the first word is b triangle b triangle is wet b line b line is a direct route right and b funnel is to confuse thoroughly that is b funnel engaged to be married right engaged to be married jisko hum kya keh dete hain mangetar basically that is said to be in hindi that person is said to be mangetar right so mangetar ke liye jo word use kiya jata hai that is said to be betrothed b e t r o t h e d right so that word is basically used for mangetar betrothed okay uh beget b e g e t right beget is to give rise or to produce beget is basically to produce right or you may call it as give rise to give rise some to something that is said to be beget right bigul b e g u i l e that is something uh, to mislead that something deals with the mislead or cheat right b hamoth b e h e m o t h is a huge creature he is a huge creature b hamoth is huge creature right to so, engage to be married that is said to be betrothed b e uh, that is said to betrothed b e t r o t h e d right and uh, the beget is to produce or give rise bigol is mislead or a cheat right behemoth is huge creature a great lover of book uh, a great lover of books that is said to be bibliophile right that file was deals with the lover and biblio wills book so hence we can say that a great lover of books is said to be bibliophile right a uh, behu behu means be necessary behu means be necessary right beholden b e h o l d e n b e h o l d e n means indebted or obligated so b e h o l d e n means obligated right or you may call it as indebted i n d e b t e d right so that is said to be beholden next word we have that is said to be belabor b e l a b o r right so belabor means to explain to explain something so that is said to belabor b e l a b o r that is to explain right an event which happens once in two years that is said to be biennial b i e w n i a l right that is said to be biennial okay uh, beleaguer b e l e a b e l e a g u e r right so that is basically to a uh, besiege or to attack means to uh, that may be take as to besiege besiege means to surround someone by armed forces right or you may call it as attack okay a uh, belated right belated means a delayed right so sometime you uh, be, uh, you you may call it as a belated happy birthday right means you have forgotten uh, the birthday of someone so that is said to be delayed right so that word is taken as belated right the next one is belay 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 is contradict belay is basically taken as contradict right so that is the meaning of the word belay b e l i e right to, to to give a false impression so that is said to be to contradict or to give a false impression that word is said to be belay uh, the practice of having two wives or husbands at the same time that is bigamy is more than one marriage right so that is said to be bigamy two marriages right more than one marriage many marriages uh, single marriage that is said to be monogamy okay and uh, more than one marriage ya yeah, more than two marriages that is said to be polygamy right and two marriages are basically said to be bigamy right uh, be little b e l i w t l e be little is to disparage to disparage someone right or you may call it to embarrass someone to harass someone all these words are basically deals with the be little kisi ko niche dikhana that is said to be be little right bellicose bellicose is war like situation belly cause is said to be war like situation right or pugnacious p u g n a c i o u s pugnacious right or you may call it as war like situation that is said to be belly cause uh, be mon b e m o a n right be mon is to lament lament l a m e n t shok prakat karna rona all these words are used for be moni right to express to express disapproval to express disapproval right so that is said to be bemoan right or to lament 
तो जनरली जिसको हम कहते हैं सपोज आपकी कोई बात नहीं मानी गई उसके बाद आप उस पर लिमिट होते हैं यू आर बी मोनिंग ऑन दैट टू एक्सप्रेस दिस अप्रूवल ऑन समथिंग तो दैट इज बेसिकली सेट टू बी बी मोन नेक्स्ट वन इज वन हु इन टोलरेंटली डिवॉटेड टू ए पर्टिकुलर क्रीड राइट सम पर्सन आर देयर हु आर डिवॉटेड टू ए पर्टिकुलर कास्ट पर्टिकुलर क्रीड और दे आर सेट टू बी बाइगर्स बाइगर्ड इज बेसिकली फेनेटिक एफ ए एन ए टी आई सी फेनेटिक और विच में इज कोल्ड एज कट्टर जिसको हम हिंदी में क्या कहते हैं कट्टर तो दे आर बेसिकली सेट टू बी बाइकोट राइट अब बी म्यूज बी ई एम यू एस ई डी राइट बी म्यूज इज बेसिकली कन्फ्यूज हु आर इन कन्फ्यूज स्टेज तो दे आर बेसिकली सेट टू बी बी म्यूज राइट बेनेडिक्शन बेनेडिक्शन इज ब्लैसिंग बेनेडिक्शन इज बेसिकली ब्लैसिंग किसी को दुआ देना किसी को ब्लैसिंग देना दैट इज सेट टू बी बेनेडिक्शन बेनिफेक्टर तो दैट इज बेसिकली गिफ्ट गिवर और वन हु गिव ब्लैसिंग राइट दैट इज बेसिकली सेट टू बी गिफ्ट गिवर राइट और यू मे कॉल इट एज वन हु गिव ब्लैसिंग्स या जो किसी के बारे में अच्छा बोलता है अच्छा करता है तो दैट पर्सन इज सेट टू बी बेनिफेक्टर राइट यूजिंग और नोइंग टू लैंग्वेजेस ए पर्सन हु यूज और नो टू लैंग्वेजेस दैट इज सेट टू बाई लिंग बाई लिंग राइट बी आई एल आई एन जी यू ए एल बाई लिंग बेनिवोलेंट दैट यू नो उदारवादी ओके बेनिफिशियंट बी ई एन ई एफ आई सी ई एंड राइट दैट इज बेसिकली वन इज वेरी काइंड बेनिफिशियंट काइंडली राइट बिनाइन बी ई एन आई जी एन राइट दैट इज ऑल्सो काइंडली दैट इज ऑल्सो द सेम थिंग काइंडली ओके द बोथ वर्ड्स आर सम वेयर सेम बेनिफिशियंट एंड बिनाइन राइट एंड बेनिवोलेंट वन हु टेक्स केयर ऑफ अदर्स दैट इज सेट टू बी बेनिवोलेंट and a person who knows more than two languages or only two languages that is said to be bilingual life of a person written by someone else that is said to be biography okay bent bent means determined determined or natural talent okay big with b e q u e a t h big with means to leave someone by means of a will so basically kisi ko apni sampatti will ke through dena right to leave property for someone to leave property for someone by will so that is basically named as bequeath b e q u e a t h right bequeath b e q u e a t h right a uh, berate berate is basically scold someone strongly berate is basically scold someone scold someone very strongly kisi ko kafi strongly daant dena so that word is basically used as berate b e r a t e right to so life of a person written by someone else that is said to be biography right bent is determined bequeath bequeath is basically to leave the property in favor of someone by will is one who studies the science of animals and plants right uh, that person is basically named as biologist biologist right the one who studies the we have two subjects like biology and geology right so that person is basically said to be biologist right uh, uh, words are there uh, first one is bereft b e r e f t right bereft is somewhere deprived of or we can talk about lacking uh, bereft is deprived of d e p r i v e d deprived of right or you may call this as lacking bereft okay a uh, bereavement state of being deprived of something Right, it's it, 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 it's basically state of being bereft. You may call it as state of being, state of being bereft or uh, lacking. Right, so that word is basically said to be bereavement. Okay, berser, b e r s e r k, that is basically anger. A n g e r e d, berser. Right, anger. It's a state of angering. So that is said to be berser. Okay. So one who studies the uh, science of animal and plants, so that is said to be biologist. Next one is uh, the science that studies the living organism. That is biology. Earlier I told you that we have two subjects: biology and zoology. So biology is the subject that deals with the living uh, substances, right? So that is said to be biology. Okay. Uh, some words are given. That is beseech, b e s w e c h. That is to beg, to beg for something. Okay. Besieged, b e s i e g e, right? That is uh, surround with armed forces. Besieged. Earlier we have also done that is surround with 
armed forces surround with armed forces that is said to be besieged right basmal b e s m i r c h that is basically soil it is basically soil right basmal right b e s m i r c h that is uh, basically called as soil so this is end to our uh, fifth practice session on the topic of one word substitution i hope you enjoyed the session you may send your feedback at my email id legalbuddy at the rate uh, gmail.com or connect me on my facebook at the rate dinesh miglani tutorials my whatsapp number 0921551435 i expect from you to share my videos on your facebook wall as well as with your friends so that they will all be benefited by this thank you very much